Thanks for joining us. That was exciting. Perpresenter just released version 17, which also brings us a new subscription model and user account management. I'm sure you have so many questions. Go watch the official release video if you haven't already. I should introduce myself. Hi, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs, and if you've never heard of me, then hello. I'm the production director at a church in Canton, Ohio, and for several years, I've had this goal of training and educating leaders like yourselves to do church and event production with excellence. Consider subscribing for the free content here on my YouTube channel and follow along with my videos. Learn more about my ProPresenter template compatible with version 17 or sign up for a Zoom training session through my website at crazyamazingdesigns.com. I was originally very skeptical, but I've warmed up to this idea over the past couple of months leading to this public announcement. ProPresenter 7 Plus was always a weird concept, but the idea of owning software was always comforting to people. And if you're one of those that are like, I can't believe you, I completely understand where you're coming from and where the disappointment lies with this new release. The reality is that healthy things grow and growing things change. This subscription model will allow Renewed Vision to develop ProPresenter and it will lower the entry price for new users. While existing users continue to receive the same price for at least the next two years, so the next two renewals of the subscription. The new features are also exciting, primarily the new user accounts where we're gonna be able to manage our ProPresenter licenses. Because of this centralized system, there's now no need for that annoying license code. We can now activate and deactivate a license remotely. Now you can know how many devices, what devices are using your ProPresenter license. For any church that just owns a single seat license, not the campus license, and then you use your single seat license between multiple computers. So you've got your Sunday morning computer, your Sunday night youth computer, your Tuesday small group computer. This is gonna be awesome. No need to remember to deactivate that computer before you leave the room and then type in that long activation code to reactivate it on the next computer. I know people who do this and have actually memorized their codes. Here's an example of a code. I really think that at first glance, this is not great, but I think this is gonna be a really great move for anyone who uses and loves ProPresenter. New features are still coming and this will change a lot of the back end system, a lot of things to happen in the future. Since 2020, Renewed Vision has delivered 16 massive updates to ProPresenter 7. Now, one of the biggest changes is that they are dropping the seven from the name. By seven. There will still be version numbers, but it's now just called ProPresenter. No more Pro 7, please, no p p p p p I'm gonna be sharing even more content in future ProPresenter videos. Here, I wanna show you how to migrate your ProPresenter license to the new system. But first, let me answer the question. Should I migrate? Do I have to migrate? Are there benefits to waiting? Will it cost us more money? Is it even worth it? Should I just cut my losses now and switch to easy worship? Some people are saying the agreement was that we would always have a perpetual license even if we stop paying the yearly maintenance fee. It is true that in the future, perpetual licensing will no longer exist. ProPresenter is becoming pay-as-you-go, monthly or yearly, just like every other platform. With that said, Pro7 Plus was an agreement that they made with us that we pay a maintenance cost and for the next 12 months, any updates to the software can be used by the end user and we get to keep that forever if we stop paying. As of today, that agreement still stands, but we can no longer renew that ProPresenter 7 Plus. In the next 12 months, whenever your Pro 7 Plus expires, any updates that are released are yours to keep under this perpetual license. But as of July 30th, 2024, there is no renewal opportunity for Pro 7 Plus once you switch over to the new subscription model. It then becomes pay as you go. Users no longer own a perpetual license of ProPresenter, and this is a huge change for ProPresenter and for renewed vision to be making. I've been using this word migration and migration is now publicly available and there's no cost today to migrate your account from ProPresenter 7 Plus to the new subscription model. You can do it now, there's no cost today unless your Pro 7 Plus needs renewed. 
you still get to keep any versions of ProPresenter 7 under the Pro 7 Plus agreement until this current Pro 7 Plus year ends. And there are really no benefits to waiting. In fact, the longer you wait, the longer you don't have access to these new benefits, such as the new user accounts system. So ultimately by July 30th of 2025, next year, every account with Pro 7 Plus will have been migrated. All new accounts will become subscription accounts. Whenever your current Pro 7 Plus license expires, you're no longer gonna be able to renew Pro 7 Plus like it was. At that point, that will be your last chance to move over to the new subscription model. If you do choose to migrate, then you're gonna be locked in at the current pricing for two years. That is the price, to renew before July 30th, 2024. If you don't wanna migrate, then you're always gonna have access to the last available release from your active Pro 7 Plus license. So let's take a look at how to migrate an account. You should receive an email from Renewed Vision or you can also go to accounts.renewedvision.com to get the process started. First things first is to sign into your account on that link. And if you already have a pro content account, then you can use the same credentials. If you need to go ahead and sign up for a new renewed vision account, it's going to ask you for some organization information and welcome to your new account. If you do not currently have a license, this is where you can sign up for a new license. Either choose to subscribe or start the migration process of your existing license. Here it is asking to verify that you are in the correct spot. If you do not have a license, it will take you back to the subscription page. Go ahead and add your organization name and your unlock code. This is a new system that is being authenticated by the old one, so that is why we are adding our information again. As we migrate our existing license, we need to sign a new contract. Renewed Vision is giving current Pro 7 Plus subscribers that two year fixed cost renewal rate. You can take a look at all of the details on this page. They wanna make sure users understand this new agreement. For existing Pro 7 Plus users, you will always own the last available update on your Pro 7 Plus renewal subscription, even if we stop paying for new features. You need to add your payment method for future renewals. Don't worry, you're not gonna be charged today unless you're signing up for a new license or your Pro 7 Plus has just expired, which means you'll roll over to the new subscription plan. Go ahead and upload your tax exempt file. I'd recommend uploading a PDF file. If you don't have one in that format, I took a photo of our sheet and I airdropped it to my laptop. I opened it in preview and on my Mac, I exported it as a PDF file. Just make sure the file size is small enough to upload, typically less than two megabytes. Well, we have done it. We've successfully migrated our account. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the dashboard and see what's new. Under products, I'll click on ProPresenter. Here I can see the list of devices currently active on my account. And you can see in this picture that there appears to be no seats active. And you can see here that there's a ton of active devices on my page that have automatically populated from all of the devices that currently have our unlock code. Here is an image from ProPresenter 7 version 16 before when we had to type in the organization name and then the unlock code. And here is the new ProPresenter version 17 update. And this is the new account window. You can see it looks a bit different. And I can go ahead and sign in to register this computer. When I sign in, it's gonna take me to this window where I can assign a name to this device, to this computer. I'm just gonna call it Nathan's MacBook Air. And then I'm gonna continue through the process. After a moment, it will successfully activate. And now here we are ready to take a look at what's new in ProPresenter version 17. Version 17 gives us these new features, so go ahead and check out that update video right here. Thanks so much for watching. It's been fun looking at this new process in the new ProPresenter version 17. Leave your questions and comments below and let me know what you think of these changes to ProPresenter. I enjoyed this morning watching the release video with everyone else and I ended up recording this video the night of the release. So I did get to spend the day seeing all of your comments on the Facebook group and different pages online. I think this is gonna be a good thing for Renewed Vision for ProPresenter going into the future, but I do think there's gonna be a bit of a change. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.